today we are going to talk about edge computing and uh, you have already listened to iot in some part of it, uh, edge computing in the previous uh, session so what we are going to talk about is we start from what is edge uh, what is edge computing platform where it runs how it runs and the various platforms what's available in the industry today and also how is the edge computing ecosystem is evolving okay. that's what briefly we try to cover and we have very sl less slides and more time because 20 minutes and 50 slides so it's a race <laughs> so we'll skip more of most of the slides okay so this is most irrelevant question uh, in this session so i will skip this i hope i can skip this okay so so you can see here you know there are uh, cloud and platforms uh, and we know the slides that's what we are talking you cannot see anything uh, pretty much all the software stacks are available whether you talk about docker kubernetes cloud foundry or the big data layers and everything but we can skip that right now basically this covers use cases platform software application development kits all of that so we just wanted to tell you that what is the ecosystem complexity in iot and how much dynamic it is okay so this is a very very simple iot representation we just wanted to tell you that from iot how you go to edge so if you see you have cloud you have uh, gateways i mean in a simple sense you have gateways then you have devices and in some cases you will have some kind of raspberry pis or some devices which is active devices where you connect more and more devices and they talk to the gateway and the data will go to the cloud and uh, you have already seen in the previous sessions that how the data goes to cloud and do ml and so on and so forth okay so but if you see most of the cases in iot the iot people itself i mean iot domain itself they started talking about raspberry pis smartphones so all are powerful devices so more and more powerful devices are coming to the south so i call south, uh, north is cloud and south is your edge so when you have more power power in the sense the storage joshu i mean uh, talked about storage at the edge and you have more compute and the network power we are talking about 5g so when it comes to the south what can we do you have compute you have storage you have network speed and all that available at the edge very close to your sensors what will you do still will you send all the data to cloud we will do processing at the edge because it's faster so that's what's happening today that we are moving to edge and basically centralized to decentralized and soon or later it's a time of blockchain it's going to be p2p it's like a distributed network uh, okay so we are not at there what is edge computing so how many of you are uh, storage guy i mean software guys okay quite good how many of you know about edge computing especially on the architecture how does it work and kind of good so how many of you are pure iot guys especially on the device side okay so we have things for all of you so let's talk about what is edge computing okay so this is a definition so the definition says that you do in a simple way you do processing or compute very close to your source of the data where is the source of the data yeah here so it's on all small small sensors actuators and devices very close to you maybe personal devices right so they, those generates a lot of data the previous session also he talked about how much data is generating right so much of huge volume of data is generated every moment so sanal somebody was talking about the edge and fog and everything so you will tell about what is that what's the difference fog and edge okay so there are a lot of jargons edge fog have you heard of roof computing roof computing roof right all that all that try to they all try to talk the same domain in the sense you try to do compute or process closer to the device in a different way maybe based on the use case where you place the device because earlier we talked about edge means uh, the raspberry pi the the last device not necessary let's suppose that if you want to make i am talking about this so that the rest of the slides you will understand very easily let's let's suppose that this room 
we want to make a smart room forget about smart home forget about smart campus we want to make it smart room okay let's suppose that you have a sensor on your body a temperature sensor and there are temperature sensors in the room and there are acs it's not a reality <laughs> there is no enough ac as soon as you enter let's suppose that you compare your body temperature the room temperature and adjust the ac is it not smart it's smart right to do that you can have sensors connected to raspberry pis the raspberry pi also can do this simple calculation but if you have more sensors pressure humidity and so on and so forth what will you do you may have a small pc or a laptop you will have number of maybe two or three raspberry pis or just one or two raspberry pis like a gateway in iot sense it's like a gateway which has got compute and connect that to the laptop even in this case should you need to send the data to cloud for this particular use case do you need to send the data to cloud not necessary it can go to laptop the laptop is enough to process and still the whole thing can happen in this room itself no aws no google no huawei right no cloud vendors this is the beauty of edge computing this is one of the key requirements of edge computing that disconnected mode because especially you talk about mining use case they get internet once in a while then how can they process the data right so this is one of the key requirements on edge so you do processing as much as possible closer to the device not necessary that next to the device okay the fog talks about a layer the first one is edge and then two three layers it's called fog so and so forth you can just simply ignore that you can consider that after cloud it's edge maybe edge of the cloud okay 